Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Okay, it is Labor Day weekend 2023 and my partner and I just got back from Sierra Vista, Arizona for the first ever Sierra Vista Fiber Festival. Um, now, I was going to record it. I did take a camera down with me, but when we got there, there were seriously, there were only four booths. Four. It was a very tiny festival. Um, it was the first one they're doing. Unfortunately, they had originally planned to do this in April, but there were some issues with health that uh, kind of prevented that from happening. And so it got rescheduled and everything that they had originally had planned for it kind of fell through. So uh, overall, though, it was still, it was fun. We only spent maybe two hours there. There wasn't an awful lot to do. Uh, we did go look at the alpacas they had there because it was at the Double G Alpaca Ranch down in Sierra Vista. Um, we did talk about the animals, uh, met some people there, um, did buy a few things. I spent maybe a hundred dollars, a little bit more than that, um, on stuff. Didn't really get a lot of fiber. I got a little bit, um, uh, but yeah. Not an awful lot going on, but hopefully, hopefully next year will be even better for them. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to get a few more vendors out there um, uh, and have a little more attendance. It was good. The people there were incredibly nice um, with um, much appreciation out to the owners of the of the Alpaca Ranch um, for, um, setting this up and opening up their home to us, uh, to come out to the festival. So uh, let me show you what I bought. Again, I didn't buy an awful lot. Um, uh, didn't have a lot of money to spend in the first place, but, uh, we did pick up a couple of things. Um, uh, so from one vendor, we uh, got this little bag of stuff here. Um, one of the things I got was this kind of yarn, uh, butler, uh, I thought it was interesting because the cake goes over it and it has a hole where you feed the yarn through it to help keep it going steady. So you got to try it and see how it works. Wasn't too bad. It was like $20. Um, the other things we got there were um, my partner wanted a needle felting kit. So they had one there for $20. Uh, should have everything we need in there for that. Um, I got uh, a nifty pair of scissors. I kind of like the uh, the color of the scissors, how they're um, kind of like a rainbow type. Let me see if I can pull them out of the package here for you. So they're kind of different colors. I just thought they were cute. They were only like $8, so it wasn't an, an awful lot. Um, and this was from... Um, um, Sensible Design Fiber Arts Association, um, and this is in Hereford, Arizona. So um, that's her card there. Uh, very nice lady. She was sitting there demonstrating some felting and stuff like that. So uh, her booth was mostly with felting. Uh, the only other stuff we got was actually from the store they have there on the Alpaca Ranch. Um, I thought this was really cute, and it was one of the things they were selling. Uh, it's an alpaca latte, which has a drop spindle and some alpaca fluff in there. So uh, it's to help, two ounces of alpaca roving plus a drop spindle. And I haven't opened it up yet, so kind of wanted to keep it looking nice. Um, let's see if I can pull this out of there. It looks like they already pre-started the spindle for you. Um, with a little bit of spinning. So just an inexpensive drop spindle with some nice alpaca fluff in two different colors. I thought it was a, a cute way of doing it, doing it like a, putting it in one of these cups with the lid on it and making it look like something you get it at uh, Starbucks or something. That was really cute. Um, I got some. This is Angora. Uh, from French Angora Rabbit named Lawrence. So I got an ounce of that. I've never spun Angora before, so this ought to be interesting to try out. And what else did I get in here? I got some um, mohair, 
locks. Uh, what is mo mohair? Is from goat, right? Uh, and, and this one was named. The animal's name was Mabel. So I've got some mohair. I've spun mohair blended with wool and um, and bamboos, and it's spun very nicely. So it'll be interesting to see how this does. And maybe I need to blend it with something else. And the only other thing we got, other than some stitch markers, um, were some was this little llama or um, maybe it's an alpaca. It's got short legs. A keychain. It was just cute. My partner wanted it, so we got it. Anyways, that is everything that I got while at this uh, festival. Um, we will go back next year, even though it was small. Hopefully next year it's going to be even bigger. And we're going to do everything we can to help uh, help them to get some uh, more vendors and more people interested in going out there. So that's it. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Happy crafting.